Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's begin over here. I have your sidereal chart on the side over here. And if you guys are wondering, we do have our 50% off on our Astronova bundle. The one, the only, the best. Okay. If you are investing in yourself, take it to consideration to get uh, you know, your chart or how can it be interpreted for a year or something like that. It is one of the best investment because you can see, at least on your own level, on your own karma, on what is about to manifest and how to navigate. It's very simple. It's very easy. You can check it down there. And there's uh, as easy as pie. You know, I always related like if a person needs their driver's license, passport, visa, whatever, you also need your birth chart. How can you travel to the ethers without knowing? Okay, it's your passport. Okay, <laughs> that's why I will call it. Okay, passport. Okay, maarte. Let's begin. All right. So, Taurus, are we managing our temper, our aggression, the impatience? Well, I hope they manage you because you won't be able to manage this. Mm -hmm. As a Taurus myself, I try. Have I won? No, I always get defeated right now. So I surrender. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Release, let go, basically. Okay. Ooh, no wonder you're annoyed. It's a page. Which means that you know, you may regret dating this person. Just saying, if it's a younger person. Okay. Um, you're going to get a message for sure. Not to your liking, though. Um, so, manage your expectations. Try to think before you respond. Because the page can cancel last minute. The page can change their mind. A page is a is an expected, but you didn't expect it because you gave them the benefit of the doubt. You gave them basically the oh you say like you gave them a chance. You gave them like well, it's okay, and then they come to you with this one with the page. It will question the intention. This is the same water behind the. Two of Pentacles, you see that? The same waves, but without the ship, though. Your person may appear, like, sensitive to you. You have to look also. Um, This hat is sometimes red. Mm -hmm. I believe in the Page of Pentacles, it is red, right? So it's blue, okay? Which is actually a teal color is um Venus. Water is Venus, which is love message. There is a sense of detachment here. Because for me, I relate. I mean, not just I relate. K2 as the fish also, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. You're getting here, Taurus, an apology that you expect that they're going to change. But they didn't. This is this part. Mm -hmm. mm. Your person is going to tell you about the hardships. You may feel it's one-sided because, you, you know, like for you, they're explaining to you their hardship. But then what about your hardship? What about you? Ten of Wands is a breaking point. Your person is letting go. Your person is giving up. Well, you're not. They want to keep this as much as they can, meaning emotionally can be, but they don't want to take responsibility. Each wand is a card of action. And if they're holding all this, they're claiming that they have a lot on their plate right now. A lot of things going on from their home, from their work. 
And you will see in these ones, there's always what we call the shorter end of the stick. So you pick through this and you find out like your person is not giving you that priority. Is not invested in you. Partly only, yes, but not fully. And you're right now with Mars is in Taurus. You want to give it all. Can be a Leo strength card. She practices the occult. This is her soulmate, your karma. This is like the past life. The lion having its tail tucked and open mouth, surrendering. Your person, basically, you're trying to convince, this is the emperor standing up. Um, this is the same abundance in the, the wreath in the far of ones. Okay, the same infinity symbol with the magician, right? Also the two of pentacles. And then there is number eight over here. You're trying to convince your person, Taurus, not to give up, but just to surrender. Things can be rough, but you're here, so don't give up. She is, what you call it, an epitome of kindness and um, looking at the situation in a kindly, uh, more kinder way. Because she's not scared of the beast, which is the lion. Because remember, this is the strength. This is courage, right? In other deck. So you're convincing them not to be scared. But they're already saying like they can't. Now at the core, it's about you, Knight of Pentacles. The core of the situation is... Everything has stopped. This is flowing, but here it feels like it's stopping, it's slowing down. And of course, the halting of the horse over here. You stop offering, you stop talking, you stop engaging, you stop seeing them. Because you feel that you're the one fighting. You stop offering, well, one, because your person is always ignoring you here. So it's tough. Because for you, you want to be a team player. Mm -hmm. But Mars is not really a team player, so it can be one-sided. Um, you think you are a team player, but you're trying to manifest this for yourself. But I know you are considerate still, but of course you have your own goal. But that's why you stop, because your goal, actually your own goal is to work it, but they refuse to work it. You're telling your person here not to look at the downside. They always look at the downside, the downside. And this is one of the reasons why you guys are not progressing. Communication, long distance relationship, uncertainty, six of swords. This relationship can sink at any time, but your person is not doing anything and not taking responsibility. Because they claim that they have so much going on. So here, it's a showing, trying to get across to, you know, to see the truth. But you may feel sabotaged by the end of the day. A six of swords will go to the seven, escapism. So it feels like it's not, you know, there's no winning here in the situation. Okay. But you have high expectation, Taurus. Not giving up. Still wondering when they will open up emotionally. 
when they will talk to you and allow you to be part of this thought process because you're being ignored. And the last message that you have with them was actually, it was okay, but not you know the best because the page. It was an apology. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. But Freeze is like, we're trying, I'm trying. Hear me out. And then silence. Mm -hmm. So you're probably expecting your person to respond to you during the retrograde, right? Mercury rules your fifth house of romance. And if you're going to a Mercury Dasha, Antar Dasha, then of course, communication or a person from the person that you're dating can respond to you. But who am I? I don't know your chart. Do you know your chart? There is the chart down there, but no. We can be a stubborn fixed sign, living this life without knowing really who we are. So that's up to you. Passive, aggressive, call it whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get you guys across. Mercury will stay there for 60 days in your fifth house in Virgo. Mercury rules your second house also. Which means that there may be some conversation that will manifest for some of you guys. Behind the scenes is here. Things that triggered to be here. I mean, to, to where you are at now. Why they stopped. Why you stopped. Why you're fighting. What were they thinking when you offered. And what's going on that they're not talking to you. Mercury rules communication, but it doesn't mean everybody will communicate to you, right? We have a system called Ashtak Varga point system. Not everything manifests for everyone. Depends on the dignity, the strength of the planet. Think of it like if LeBron James is playing in its home court, then he will perform well. And if he's not playing in his home court advantage, then he won't be doing as well. He's, he's not going to do good. So, is your Mercury in a good place? That's my question. Do you know? Maybe you don't. Maybe it's time for you to make the change. Mm -hmm. Behind the scenes, right here, you're going to ask me, where is uh, Mercury? You know, I wouldn't... I, there's there's gazillion okay, ways of figuring it out. Okay. I cannot give one infinite, you know, one five, you know. Of course, if it's exalted, then that's given. Meaning, if it's placed in Virgo, it's going to give 100. A specific nakshatra and specific degree for exaltation. Okay. Which is communication here. You will expect a communication, but they will tell you something that may that you may need, Taurus, to gather all your strength before you can consider what they're going to give to you. Will your expectation be met? Because you have the three of wands over here. The silence can be broken during the time in the transit. But there is a lot of things here that you need to know before you even engage with them. Nine of Wands. The temperance shows a lot of aggression, but it requires patience. How long should be patient Patient in this situation? Queen of Coins, Page of Wands. You've been patient. You've been waiting and waiting. Hierophant. You. You've been patient. Right? So here it is now. You waited temperance to meet them halfway. What do they have to say? Page of Wands. Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. Make sure to check out our wonderful apparel and also our new collection for our stackable bracelets. 
Thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. And the, the report is also down there. Bye, guys.